Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have had a request a couple of times to share some of my favorite or um, some of the short story collections I've really enjoyed over the years. And um, I wanted to do that today. I have talked about a couple of these on my channel. Actually, I may have talked about all of them at one point in time, uh, but some of them I read quite a while ago and they are very different in um, the subject matter that they cover but i wanted to share this kind of variety there are four of them and um, maybe give you some ideas of some different short story collections to pick up so the first one i did read this year and absolutely adored and that is ashes in my mouth sand in my shoes by per peterson and this is translated from norwegian by don bartlett and it is such a cute little book, but it packs a powerful punch. So this is a bunch of connected short stories about a boy named, I think it's Avrid. Yeah, Arvid, 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 named Arvid. Um, and it's just basically a picture of this child's life. And it it's so fascinating because you have all of these stories from this child's perspective. And they're kind of, they can be mundane events. They're not necessarily like, really big events in this kid's life but they also are just so real and true to the experience of a child that it is absolutely enthralling and i really loved this it has made me want to pick up more of per peterson's work i have one of his novels um, that i actually had before i, I picked this up uh, that i'm definitely going to be getting to soon because yeah, his writing is so, so good, and I loved that the short stories were connected because while they still felt like short stories, it still gave you kind of an overall feel where, you know, you were getting to know this character more and more and more throughout the book. The next one is sort of a classics recommendation, and that is Mas A Masked Ball and Other Stories by Alexandre Dumas. And I thought this was really fun. So it is a collection of different short stories. They're obviously set in the time periods that Alexander Dumas wrote in, as well as sort of in his own time period when he was living. Um, one of the stories is sort of, it sounds like it's him telling a, a story, something that he actually went through, but I think it's kind of fictionalized. But it was really interesting and had a lot of the great aspects of some of his um, epic books, but in kind of a more mundane and um, everyday setting instead of like the epic, you know, Three Musketeers, Count of Monte Cristo, but it still had some of that feel and the characters were really charming and I just thought this was a great addition to reading some of his other books. I wouldn't start here because I don't feel like this is exactly true to his style. Um, it, it's outside of the box a little bit, but I do think that if you've read things like The Count of Monte Cristo, um, The Three Musketeers, The Black Tulip, that this is a really good um, addition to reading some of those things because you get to see a different side of Dumas that is very fun. And I think hands down of all of the short story collections I have read recently, so in the last couple of years, this one is my favorite. It was recommended to me by some of my um, college friends because the author is actually a alum of my university, Hollands, and that was why I initially picked it up, but I'm so glad I did. It's called Going Away Shoes by Jill McCorkle, and this is a collection of short stories that are not really about happy times, so going away shoes. It's about people, you know, leaving each other. It's about sad little moments in their lives. Um, you know, somebody who's about to make the decision to leave their spouse and changes their mind, things like that. And it just, the characters were so complex. The stories were so real and it just kind of, I don't know, I, I was turning pages, just really wanting to see what happened with these people. And it just, I just thought that, that it was so charming and it was definitely, I like family sagas and I felt like it had the feel of a family saga, but it also had a lot of, you know, drama and just a little bit of intrigue in places and it, it really turned out to be such a fantastic 
collection of stories and it made me really fall in love with her writing. Um, I have read another short story collection by her that I wasn't really a fan of. Um, and then I have a couple of her novels to read that I'm really excited to get to, but her writing style is very approachable and just charming. I, I think it, she's a fantastic writer. And the last one is a little bit more popular and mainstream, and that is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. And I am including this one because I thought that this added something to the the series as a whole. So a lot of times when authors put out like collections of short stories that have to do with their books, it's just sort of like a money grab. And while, you know, you could argue that maybe this is, I do think that the stories in here really added a layer to the overall series. And Whereas, you know, I thought that Ferris probably could have just been chucked in the trash. I didn't need that. Or, you know, you could have written a shorter version of that and thrown it in here. Um, so I didn't have to buy a completely separate book. Anyways, that's not what this is about. This book, however, did have some really great moments where you really... It gave you a new layer to a character. It told a story that was alluded to in the greater series. Um, and a lot of these stories are actually available for free on, I think it's called Wattpad or Wattpad or something like that. Um, so you can read a lot of these without actually buying the book. Um, but I really thought that it was fun, exciting. I would say make sure you've read the full series before you read this because there definitely are going to be some spoilers. Um, especially the last one, which is like sort of an epilogue to the series and I thought it was really cute, really well done, um, and I just overall really enjoyed this. Even though I wasn't, I had just come off reading Winter and I wasn't really expecting to enjoy it that much just because I thought at that point the series had gone on too long, but I thought that this added just the right amount of like history of the characters and you know looking forward and just sort of wrapping up and tying up a lot of loose ends in the stories. So yes, this is definitely a really charming read in conjunction with the overall series. So like I said, four very different books, um, all from different genres basically, and I really enjoyed all of them. I would recommend them. The Jill McCorkle one obviously I would super recommend and especially if you've never read anything by her it's a great starting point and that's what a lot of my friends who are big fans of her writing they all said to start with Going Away Shoes. So I'd love to hear what your favorite short story collections are. I am always looking for new short story collections. I am actually probably going to try to set as a goal for next year to read one short story collection a month because I really really enjoy them and I just think that it is something that I don't read enough of and I always want to read more of. So recommend me some short story collections and we will talk in the comments. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye!